I just saw Jamie Fraser inside that shop. Jamie Fraser is literally inside that shop there. <laughs> I'm not joking. Jamie Fraser. In today's vlog, I am on the Outlander Trail. They are filming close to Edinburgh and I am going after them. That sounds a bit creepy. Mm -hmm. Not in a creepy way. I am home in Scotland and Outlander is filming, so I am on the trail, as I said. And today is the last day of filming at Cull Ross, the wee town, I don't know if you remember, in season one where the, where the lad got his ear nailed to the plinth, where Jamie pulled it off. Well, they're back here filming. I am here to check it out. I might be too late because today is the last day of filming. But nonetheless, we're here, we're gonna take some photos, if nothing else. Let's do it. Look at all the vans there behind me. These are all um, Outlander hire vans for the crew. They've got a massive, massive set here. Outlander cast is currently filming indoors at the moment inside Cull Ross Palace so we're not going to see any of the cast at the moment I'm not sure if they might come out after they're filming but we're just going to take a walk through the town centre now anyway because it's a beautiful old historic town look at the cobbles on the street the colours actually that's a nice photo there up that hill I'm going to take some photos here on the street as well because it's a beautiful beautiful old town as I say these houses have been here forever it's a nice place to come I've never been here before shamefully Look at this house here. Like, I don't know how old that is, but that is, like, I can't believe someone would live there. It's so cool. There's a building there with a date stamp of 1604 on it. See that there? Unicorn. All right, we've reached a kind of square here with that monument. I'm trying to think, is this the square where they filmed that scene where the boys here got stapled to the plinth? I think it might be I think they were standing here, on this side. Look at these buildings here. That is absolutely stunning. Orange, red, white. Alright, so we're in the main square here at Kalross, which was obviously Kranzmuir in Outlander, where Claire visited a lot of times, and... Oh, I just saw Jamie Fraser inside that shop. Jamie Fraser is literally oh, yeah. inside that shop there. <laughs> I'm not joking. I got such a fright. I was talking to the camera and then I just saw Jamie Fraser looking at me, trying to go and say hi to him. Look, it's Sam Ewan. Do you think he'll speak to me? I was just taking a, I was taking a photo down there. Yeah. And then I thought, bloody hell, there's Jamie Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> See, there he is there. Not very talkative though, is he? No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. In this square, this is where all the kind of action happened, where the priest condemned the young lad to get his ear stapled to the plinth, which was right here in the square. They had built a wooden platform here. These houses there were like a kind of dark grey, and that was Gailis's house right there, where she did all her potions, and that was like a lighter grey colour. Quite a cool place. Beautiful. Anyway, let's head back down the hill and see if we can see any more filming action. Okay. Right. See you later. See you later. Lovely wee town. I like it here. Uh, Hags Wind. Now there's a name for a street. I'm just gonna walk up a wee bit up Hags Alley. Hags Wind even. Look at this sign on this door. Beware of the Hobbit. Like I feel quite ashamed that I've never been here before. It's such a beautiful little town. And it's only like, what, 45 minutes from my house? Coat hanger on the wall for some reason. Strange. If you guys are on the Outlander Trail, 
Please come here, it's gorgeous. We'll get to Galis's house. So apparently earlier on this week, Monday and Tuesday, when I was still flying from Brazil, they were filming in one of these alleys with Galis, with Ian, Jenny's husband. Now they are filming indoors for this last part of their filming session. But it's cool coming here anyway. I want to show you some of the trucks and some of the stuff they're doing because of Outlander. Okay, so there's a sign here which I've got a shadow over. It tells you a wee bit about the town of Ross. It's quite interesting. It says here, I don't know if you can read that because the writing is quite small, that the houses here in the square that we were just at are mainly 16th and 17th century. So around the time of Outlander, these houses have been here. 1745, they would have definitely been here. Very, very, very cool place. Anyone interested in Outlander should come here. We were all waiting for the cast to come out of the palace where they were filming. And one of the guards, I think, told someone a rumor that Katrina was there as well. I don't know why she would be there, unless they were using the site as something else in America. But anyway, it was a nice day out at Coros. Another Outlander location tour for you guys. <sighs> <sighs> Woo. Okay, I'm back in the car now, trying to warm up. It is so cold outside. I've just come back from Brazil, tropical temperatures for the last three months. And here we are in Scotland. It's freezing, Teca is struggling, I'm struggling. I didn't bring a jacket to be honest, which was my own fault. It's February in Scotland, I didn't bring a jacket. I'm still in Brazil mode, uh, but it's cool to be here in Col Ross anyway. And actually, I also met some people off Outlander the Forum, our Facebook group. I met a girl called Julie who's on the, on the forum. I'm actually gonna post a selfie now that we took, but yeah. We're gonna go home now. It is absolutely Baltic. There's a good Scottish word for you, Baltic. And we'll talk more when I get back to Edinburgh. All right, guys, I'm back home after the wee adventure to Kulross. Although someone who follows me on Instagram saw my Instagram posts from Kulross and they corrected me. This was someone who is actually from the area, from Fife, the kingdom of Fife, and said it's not pronounced Cull Ross, like I was saying, like an Edinburgh lad that I am. In Fife, people call it Kuris. I don't really know why they call it Kuris, because that's not how it's written. Even as, I'm a Scottish person and I didn't even know that. This is a town that is literally 40 minutes drive from my house. And by the way, guys, if any of you want to go there, come to Edinburgh, cross the fourth road bridge or rail bridge, and take your first left, and it's about 10 minutes down the road from there. Very close to Edinburgh, very easy to find. I'm not sure if there's public transport, but there should be. I'm gonna find it difficult to say Kuris. I'm gonna still say Kulross, because that's like natural, that's how it should, I don't know. Fifers are weird. Sorry, people for Fife, but I love you really. Anyway guys, listen, before I go tonight, Try Outlander Sunday with Sean, I've got one little announcement to make. This here is the Outlander location maps. I have still got a bunch of these to give away. They're the Outlander season one and season two location maps, and they're really, really good actually, I like mine. I take it with me everywhere when I'm doing location tours. It's got all the locations on it. Folds out. It's huge. Look at that. Ugh, I can't even fit it in the frame. Anyway, you get the drift. These make great posters for the wall or whatever. Anything you want to do with them, they're great. And on this occasion, I'm giving away 30 of them. I'm going to be signing all of them. And I'm going to be running this competition, this giveaway on my Patreon page. So anybody who is a Patreon of mine, which you can sign up for for as little as $1 per month, Patreon is a great platform which helps creators, video creators and other artists by basically crowdfunding the work. So you can sign up to my page for $1 a month and you'll see the post on my Patreon page, it's patreon.com forward slash Sean vlog, explaining all about it. And yeah, I'm giving away 30 of these signed, sign up, patreon.com forward slash Sean vlog, $1 a month and I'll, I'll enter you into this competition and there'll be a lot of other competitions on Patreon as well. So thank you very much guys for watching this vlog, I appreciate it. Droughtlander Sundays with Sean are continuing. There's a lot more to come. There's a lot of Scotland to explore. I'm gonna be out there hitting the road for you guys. I'm really enjoying this. I really love the interaction with you guys about Outlander. And yeah, like, I don't know, the future is exciting. One thing I've been thinking about, this just came into my head today. There is the New York Tartan Week in New York, obviously, in April. I've never ever been. I've always thought, wow, that is amazing. A celebration of Scottish culture in America, in New York. And I just thought like, could I go to that? Why couldn't I go to that? Should I go to that? I've got a lot of friends now in New York since I went there last time. 
met up the Outlander gang from New York and I'm like thinking to myself now, maybe I should go. It will be expensive to go there, but I'm seriously thinking about it. What do you guys think? Down below, comments. If I should go to the New York Tartan Week, where there will be an Outlander grouping of people doing a march during the Tartan Week parades. What do you guys think? Should I go? New York 2018 April. Yes or no? Down in the comments. Anyway, guys, thank you very much, as always. Really appreciate you guys. Have a great night, evening, morning, day, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you again really soon. Take care.